Ventral wall defects. During standard obstetrical ultrasound examination, a transverse image through the fetal abdomen is obtained to inspect umbilical cord insertion into the anterior abdominal wall. Integrity of the ventral wall is also demonstrated in this view. In this view of the fetal abdomen, the stomach and spinal ossification centers are visible, but an irregular shaped mass is seen just outside the ventral wall, close to the midline. These are extruded bowel loops in fetal gastroschisis. This again shows a transverse view of a fetal abdomen. Fetal gastroschisis is a full thickness defect in the ventral abdominal wall that is virtually always located to the right of the umbilical cord insertion. Although the defect itself is not generally visible, multiple bowel loops herniate through the defect and float in the amniotic fluid. Color Doppler has been added to this image to more clearly show the umbilical cord. This demonstrates that the bowel has herniated, not into the cord base, but through a separate defect at the right. Gastroschisis complicates 1 in 2,000 to 4,000 pregnancies and is the one major anomaly more common in infants of younger mothers. Associated bowel abnormalities such as jejunal atresia are found in 15 to 30 percent of cases. As with other major anomalies, targeted sonography is indicated. Gastroschisis is not associated with an increased aneuploidy risk, and the survival rate approximates 90%. In contrast, fetal emphalocele is a herniation of abdominal organs into the base of the umbilical cord itself. In this image, the fetal stomach, spinal ossification centers, and ribs help with orientation of the abdominal circumference as the contour is distorted by herniation of the fetal liver into the base of the cord. Because abdominal organs herniate into the umbilical cord, they are covered by amnion and peritoneum, which gives the fetal emphalocele a round, sac-like appearance. The cord, highlighted here with color Doppler, inserts directly into the emphalocele sac. This fetus has a small emphalocele highlighted here. Emphalocele complicates approximately 1 in 3,000 to 5,000 births. In more than 50% of cases, emphalocele is associated with other major anomalies or aneuploidy. Thus, targeted sonography is indicated, and fetal karyotyping should be offered. Emphalocele is also a component of syndromes such as Beckwith-Wiedemann, cloacal extrophy, and pentalogy of Cantrell.